Oh, did you need something? Hmm. Take care. Yes? This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me, and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I had it, and why I was down there. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. 
That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away, in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Let's get indoors, or in a cave, anywhere, just out of this.
This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Yes, Dorakin. How can I help you? I finally found you. I want to join the College of Winterhold, but I need help with my wards. Can you teach me? Oh. All right. I guess I'll just keep practicing on my own. Sorry to bother you. Got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. For a dragon to attack Heinzgrove? Why? Why there? There's no Ancano is exactly why we're so restricted about access to the college. I'm not one for commendations, but I might have lost everything. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. A moth priest? What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priests make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. All this knowledge might have been lost were it not for you. Assorted books. Scrolls. I'm sure you'll find something useful. All right, then. little elf. I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this.
I'm sure. I was always taught to avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why now. Is someone there? Never should have come to you. Where did you come from? vanquished a great evil from sky ah so that was a moth priest then he rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers they didn't stop just headed south across the dragon bridge all right then
Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls, though in time it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. It is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future, and we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City, among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Aldmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. Uh, I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claim they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. You do? All right then, enough mysteries. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly.
for the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. What can I do for you? Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Do you have a moment to talk? Do you have a moment to talk? Do you have a moment to talk? Do you have a moment to talk?